Before I do any more assembly on this engine, I'm making a point to do a bunch of measuring of different things. I've measured up the, uh, the, the bell housing mounts on the back of the block. I've uh, measured up the 944 bell housing and the 944 flywheel and uh, I'm currently working on getting all of the hole locations for the oil pan for the 1.8 turbo and the reason is because I'm going to have to make a custom oil pan to get around the subframe and it's easier to get all of my measurements now while it's in pieces than when it's all together and this way I can create a CAD model and um, then I'll be able to at least have a, a, a diagram or a blueprint I can work from and or if I'm going to uh, utilize an outside shop like a water jet cutter or something like that to make uh, some of the flanges, um, I'll be able to create a file for them so to, to make that easy. So what I'm working on is I've screwed in just a whole bunch of um, bolts into the oil pan holes here on the block and using just a carpenter's square I'm now able to pretty accurately uh, create a pickout location or planes, right? So I've got a plane running this way and a plane running this way. So now using uh, my calipers, I can measure, like if I measure from the, you know, the inside edge of the square to this side of the threads of the, of the bolt, because the square is sitting on this side of, you know, the threads here along this row, I can get a very accurate reading on the distance of that, uh, of that bolt and I can you know and then from this plane I can also measure this way and get the the location I need and I can do this for all the bolts and then uh, you know now that I've got like a, a two sides done I can now move my square to reference off of this side and this will give me a chance to kind of move all the way around the the bolt holes for the oil pan flange and make a, a real accurate model to uh, to figure out you know where that all goes and here you can see I'm using Fusion 360 is my CAD program of choice since so I've started laying out the holes and the uh, the corresponding dimensions for them. And uh, while I'm here, I can show you some of the other things that I've created. So I uh, also here's kind of the, the the block assembly. So this is the uh, the mounting flange of the of the back of the block. I can zoom in a little bit and pan and so I also drew up the uh, the the rear flange here, the rear main seal flange and I can you know spin this in space and rotate it and everything and I figured out that it's mounted in the uh, the original car in the this one, this particular engine was actually out of an Audi A4. Uh, it's mounted at a seven, I'm sorry, an 18 degree angle from horizontal. So that's its natural mounting position in the car. And then I've created the uh, kind of an uh, approximation of a bell housing. So here we have the, uh, the 944 bell housing and uh, you know all of the again the mounting points are pretty pretty accurate I'm comfortable with that the 944 bell housing mounts at a at a 30 degree from horizontal or the, or the engine the 944 engine mounts at 30 degree from horizontal so I'll get to play around you know with the CAD program here I'll get to merge these um, these models um, into one assembly and I can rotate and tilt and you know, select the mating surfaces and all of that, and so I can figure out the thickness of the adapter plate I'm going to use, and uh, I can also figure out, you know, the, the hole locations and create a model to, to get that made up. And I've also drawn up a, uh, let's see, the flywheel, the 944 flywheel, um, Again, because I think the, the right way to, to do this conversion is to use a 944 flywheel and clutch disc and pressure plate in the 944 bell housing, which lets you use the 944 starter, clutch slave, throw out bearing, and uh, all of that, uh, but then have it mount onto the Volkswagen 1.8 turbo uh, crankshaft. So I will, should be able to take all of these models and figure out all my design work and 
in an effort to work smarter, not harder, to get everything kind of designed and figured out before I actually cut metal and make parts.